Hey babies, Everlong Mystic here, and today I'm going to do a reading for those of you born on Monday. The um, celestial body most associated with, well, I guess that rules Monday is the moon. So the moon, we've got unknown, we've got feelings, and the astrological sign most associated with Monday is cancer. So if you were born on a Monday and you are not a cancer sign, you might check out some cancer readings because they, they just may well resonate with you. Or if you have resonated with cancer readings and I wasn't sure why, it could be because you were born on a Monday. I read somewhere that the day of the week that you were born has just as much influence on you as your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. So when I read that, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do day of the week readings because, you know, that's that's a lot of influence. That seems seems important. So, so here we go for Monday babies. What do Monday babies need to know? What do Monday babies need to know? sensitive, they are adaptable, and they do, they, are, they can easily change their moods. Okay, so that's funny because it's ruled by the moon, but my queen of the moon is not talking. So, we're going to see if Maybe you need a sacred forest instead. All right. Can we get an oracle card for Monday babies? Oracle card for Monday babies. Spirit Guardian of Winter Retreat. I like this. So this is this is about like hearth and home. This is about home is where the heart is. This is your warm, cozy. This is what gives you the warm, cozy feeling, okay? So what do we need to know about the warm, cozy? Warm cozies. For Monday. And this is 38, which is an 11. You know, I, I also think it's very interesting that this... This whole warm... This, this whole scene right here, it's like this globe. It's like a snow globe. Which makes me think that it's not 100% real. You know what I mean? Like it's an imagined warm, cozy place. Like something that you don't have. Or some place that you are fond of. Or some place that you wish to be. Because you know when you buy a snow globe, you, you buy it like as a souvenir of some place that you've been that reminds you of where you were. Or, um, or it's just a beautiful, like, scenery, like some place that you haven't been, but it's, it reminds you of a certain thing, you know what I mean? 
So there might be some, like some wanting or some wanting or some nostalgia going on for you right now. Like nostalgia for a different season. Because it's something that you, you, you hold in high regards. It's on this beautiful, shiny silver, like pedestal kind of thing. It's like, it's like whatever it is, you revere it. You revere it highly. here and this is this is definitely this this warm feeling like this it's like warm and gentle it's soothing it's comforting and that's this rainbow here that's like and it's and it's a pinnacle so it's like a physical it's a physical place it's a physical place that you feel like warm and safe like zero threat you know what I mean it's like that's what it's like that's the feeling that you're 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 trying to get to this zero threat place. And I and I feel like just with this card here, this the is it six of wands, I mean just the fact that the butterfly is coming out of this place, that's a dangerous place. And the butterfly has come like has come from it. It, it succeeded. I feel like whatever this this safe place is for you or this, this warm, comforting place this retreat is you're going to you're going to get there you're you're going to get there monday yeah and you're going to get there and and there there is love there i feel like you're going to be able to share this it's not just your place it's like a it's almost like a family place You know, like, maybe like the family cabin, or, you know, that you go to when you need to get away from the world, or it could be like, um, you know, like when you go to the, this, you know, like a, I don't know, like a bed and breakfast with, uh, like a new boyfriend or girlfriend, and it's like this, just like this magical place, and you have such fond memories of it, because you had such a good time, or. You're, 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 you're gonna get there. It's not, it's not lost, and it's not forgotten. So we have four of pentacles, yeah, and, and I, I just see this as keeping it close, like, I feel like these all want to just contract all into the center. It's like something that you hold really dear to you, you keep it close to your heart. Spirit, what does Monday, what do Monday babies have to do? What, what's your advice? How do they get to this beautiful retreat? say that Mondays, Mondays do, they get a, they get a lot of shit. I mean, a lot of people just don't like Mondays. But there's, there's something very, there's something very nice here. Don't, don't write off Mondays. They're not, they're not bad. It's like the moon, you know, the moon really Mondays, it's like, there's a lot, there's a lot people don't know about Mondays, and a lot people don't know about Monday babies. Oh, high priestess, you cannot make this up. Perfect. This is so cool, because we were just talking about what known and unknown, and the moon, I mean, the moon rules that the high priestess is like... It's the perfect moon-related card. 
Besides the moon itself. Man. You see, can you see that? I don't know if you can see her hand, but she's totally holding, she's holding an egg in her hand. She, like, she, she's holding this, she's holding this cosmic egg in her hand, and her hand, she's not even grasping it. Her hand is like this, and the egg is just staying there. And she's kind of intimidating. This high priestess is a little bit intimidating. But I think she has to be. Because you know what? If you're, if you're privy to some of the secrets of the moon, you're going to see some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Alright. So how do we... So in order to get to this retreat, we have we have to embrace our inner high priestess. That means we can't we can't be wimps. And there is a mystical component here. And it's almost like <clears throat> it's almost like a trick because the moon, the Monday and the moons and cancer, it's, it's all about feelings. It's all these feelings, but at some point, you need to be able to possess the skill of putting your heart in a cage, like setting your feelings aside. There's something that you have to set your feelings aside for. What is it? I don't know. Priestess, Major Arcana, the world, Major Arcana, Judgment, Major Arcana. So the only real detail here is the Ten of Swords, which is ouch. And what did I just say about putting your feelings aside? I feel like this, this Ten of Swords, with all these swords stabbing you, these are the feelings that you need to put aside in order to find this retreat. Now this retreat could be physical. This retreat could be a place in your mind. But in order to get to this warm, cozy, levy place, you've got to put these feelings aside. You've got to stop letting your, th your thoughts stab you. Because the High Priestess has totally mastered the art. She, she already knows how to do this. And I feel like she came out to, to let you know that you can do this, too. You have that skill. You just need to use it. And then we have the world and judgment. Yeah, the world to me is, like, the world is just you reaching this retreat. That's what the world card represents here, is you getting there. Because that's a completion. And it's, you know... Spherical, spherical, just, th that's you getting there, okay? And now, the judgment. I feel like the judgment is related, <clears throat> is related to this card. It's like you notice how, okay, so like the angel's blowing the horn. People are being set free. But these people, like, their top halves are blue, just like this black butterfly. It's like they're being set free. You, it's like confirmation that you, you will get there, okay, Monday? You will get there. All you have to do to get there is to master your emotions. And stop stop letting your emotions tear yourself up, really. That's that's the advice from spirit. Wow. Very cool. Okay, so that's your message, Monday babies. Um, thank you so much for embracing your inner mystic. And I will catch you next time. Bye.